so in the previous video i have explained that how you can uh, what are the different types of application of microwave engineering in this video we will be discussing some specific application in detail those are important okay now first one is terrestrial microwave transmission from the figure you can understand terrestrial microwave communication what it is so these are some towers okay so these towers have some antennas okay these are the antennas in the tower now what happens so this uh, antenna send signal to each other right so it doesn't go to the satellite the antennas or the tower send signal to each other and like this one information from this end reaches the information at the last antenna or from uh, to any any antenna here right so when this is happening this type of propagation of microwave engineering or this type of communication is called as your terrestrial communication so what is this by definition so this system use directional parabolic antennas you can see this uh, shape of the antenna is parabolic directional parabolic antennas to transmit and receive signal over the lower gigahertz range as shown in the figure okay so directly they receive or transmit the signal and they have the parabolic antennas why because parabolic antennas are very directive so in a particular direction their uh, sending and receiving capability is very high so these signals are highly focused and travel inside as i said if there is a parabolic antenna like this the parabolic antenna is there and there will be uh, like uh, one antenna will be here so whatever signals comes here all the signals will get focused to this antenna so it increases the efficiency of the antenna in this way okay now the best example is your dish tv antenna so that is nothing just a dish antenna or parabolic antenna also next what are the characteristics of uh, uh, terrestrial microwave system what happens there so they are following characteristics of terrestrial microwave system what are those first is uh, the frequency range is 4 to 6 gigahertz and 21 to 23 uh, 21 to 23 gigahertz these are the two frequency bands it is used it provides maximum bandwidth from 1 to 10 mbps okay the signals are affected by the emi what is that electromagnetic interference so because of Uh, other electromagnetic waves these waves can be interfere or can be disturbed in jamming and uh, eavesdropping so what is the jamming means uh, you might have seen in movies that they use a device and the no mobile signal comes that is what the jamming is so the signals can be blocked then line of sight requirements installation difficult line of sight means what so if one antenna is here then another antenna should be visible from here or in between them there should be no obstacle if uh, a uh, uh, means a mount will be there or anything like that then it is it is communication cannot happen so it has to be line of sight communication means there should be no obstacle between two antennas and it is very difficult to do that because there will be hills uh, mounts mountains and uh, like localities uh, jungles and all so it is difficult to achieve this one next short distance can be expensive but long distances are relatively uh, sorry short distance are in in essence but long distance are expensive that means if you want to transmit your data over a short distance it's okay two antenna is there they can work but sending data over a long distance is a problem it requires multiple number of uh, antennas or this mobile uh, antenna towers so it in, uh, increases the cost as well okay Egg next is satellite microwave communication so this figure you can see so this is the uh, earth surface okay and the ground station this one is the ground station okay this is the ground station is here on the earth surface and here there is a satellite is there so what happens the satellite sends the signal to the ground surface and it sends back the signal so this is how the satellite communication happens okay this is how you are receiving your uh, uh, like the dish tv so dish tv are pro uh, properly oriented to a particular direction in from in which direction the satellite is sending signal and the dish antenna receives the signal and decodes it that that's what happen in a satellite communication so what theory says satellite communication is much like line of sight microwave communication so it is also similar to line of sight microwave communication like in terrestrial we have seen here what is the difference here one antenna is here one antenna is in the space okay so it is written that in which one of the station is a satellite orbiting the earth okay the principle is similar to terrestrial microwave with a satellite acting as a super tall antenna or a repeater that means if i say in this terrestrial communication if i make one antenna so large that it will go to the space then here it is written it behaves like that it is so tall that it uh, interacts with the base station antenna from space 
and it can cover more distance obviously if this is the earth so if there is one antenna is here then it cannot cover it can just cover this much of distance right but if i put a satellite here so see how much distance it can cover it can cover almost half of the earth right that's why satellite communication are uh, more used uh, basically used to transfer more data over a wide uh, surface area okay although satellite transmission signal must still travel in straight up lines the limitation imposed on the distance by the earth curvature and reduced so that's what i have told you next in this way the satellite rays uh, relays are allowed microwave signal to span of the continent and ocean so what happens if a satellite is here and it cannot access this place then i'll pay, uh, place one satellite here so this satellite can send the signal here and this satellite again can cover all this area so like this with some more satellites the whole earth can be covered that is what written here then what are the advantages of satellite communication so satellite is a single microwave relay station visible from any point of a vast area so from this much of area of the earth it is visible visible means not like uh, visible you can see that visible in the sense in the microwave signals can directly come from there the transmission and reception cost are independent of the distance between two points now if you are sending signal here or if you are sending signal here that doesn't dip, that doesn't depend on the distance cost will be same so once it is sending the signal every point on the earth will receive it that's it okay a transmission station can retrieve its transmission and check whether the satellite has transmitted inform information correctly or not okay so a transmitter transmission station can retrieve the transmission that means a transmission station is there it can check whether this satellite has properly sent some signal to another antenna or not because this checking antenna is also receiving the same signal if it has received means then the other antenna should have received already then what is uh, disadvantage of this so it is a high cost obviously putting satellite in the orbit is a cost you need rocket launcher and all the things then since uh, the waves are transmitted by satellites around the world therefore the security of the message is fragile now this wave is open to everyone everyone anyone can receive the signal and decode it so the security is a matter there nowadays it is not a matter the signals are uh, really high secure then satellite microwaves which are vulnerable to electromagnetic interference okay so when it comes to the earth or earth also so many other antenna is there and it the interference can happen so that is one of the major problem with the satellite communication but nowadays it doesn't happen some other coding technologies are there so interference is avoided now it's not zero though it's avoided okay then some applications of radar on based on civilian air traffic control air navigation control ship navigation and safety space remote sensing environment law enforcement and military area so all thing uh, uh, you can take a snapshot and read all this or you can pause and read uh, all these points you can take a snapshot to refer your note but i'll just explain this uh, aircraft nav navigation and air traffic control what happens there so air traffic control is what Uh, if you have seen in every airport there is one tower and one antenna will be rotating there will be one tower and there will be like one antenna which rotates the tower right so this is basically a radar and detects it detects whatever is available on the uh, atmosphere or in the air after how much distance one flight is coming what is the speed of the flight and all those things can be done so if the mumbai like mumbai delhi and big airports are there so they are very busy airports in every 5 minute there is a uh, air uh, there is a airplane which is leaving the airport and uh, after 5 minutes again there is a airplane which is coming down to the airport so this has to be controlled prop uh, properly and that comes to the picture air traffic control okay so uh, there the radar sir plays a more important role net air uh, aircraft navigation also so at high altitude so nothing is visible on earth so how to navigate so in that case also in some radar is used then ship navigation and safety so when uh, people go with the ship to the deep sea uh, then radar is there which uh, helps them to get their signal navigation informations and connecting with other devices as well okay so these are some applications for uh, radar application based on civilian con concept of view means these are applied to the normal peoples next is some applications in military so detection and search radar so these are the radars which can detect any object uh, coming from far and it can search that it can search that from where exactly the location of that uh, object is and it can be pinpointed 
ने टार्गेटिंग रायडर्स सो दीज आर बेसिकली यूज टार्गेटिंग सम लाइक युअर एनमी एयरक्राफ्ट हज कन कम टू द आवर टेरिटरी देन दीज रायडर्स कैन टार्गेट दे कैन कॉन्स्टेंटली फॉलो दैट सो दैट इट डजेंट गो आउट ऑफ द साइट एंड इट कैन टार्गेट दे सो दैट्स दैट्स वाई इट इज so instrumentation radars are there then uh, mapping radars are there through which uh, a proper mapping of the ground is done in 3d structure how much height is where and all those things sometimes uh, these are also called as synthetic aperture radars which are used for ma uh, radar mapping okay next is some application in industry what are the applications so in industry the frequency used is 100 megahertz to 30 gigahertz of signal the diagnostic application tumor detection based on different tissue electrical properties so uh, based on as you know if a electromagnetic wave is propagating in a wave then the electrical property affect it a lot what is the electrical property the epsilon value so when there is a cancer cell then the epsilon value and a normal cell epsilon value is different so in that case the reflected wave can be properly analyzed to know whether the cell is a cancer or some not okay then mri is there so you know uh, magnetic resonance imaging so there is a huge machine is there people go inside that and then detailed image comes out okay next there are application based on the local heating means uh, how heart and other tissue ablation angioplasty all those things are medical things are there it is used in the medical industry next radiometry telemetry and motion detection is also used here so if uh, a person is in coma then a small movement in hand also is very significant which may or may not be detected by the camera but this microwave things can detect it okay now something called advanced uh, human body model so uh, now how to test the effect of any microwave signal on a human body so there is something called advanced human body models developed by some companies so you can take that model and if you are designing a an antenna you can test it there okay next is uh, how this human body are analyzed so numerical technique is there uh, this is not required as a part of your uh, uh, your application so you can skip that so this is the method how the simulations happen so forget about this next is tissue sensing adaptive radar tsr is there along with all this another is tissue sensing adaptive radar so what next is there the short history of microwave engineering so from uh, this i will continue in the next video and uh, i'll try to complete the first part of the unit 1 as soon as possible then we'll go to the s parameter okay so we'll end this uh, video here thank you